Hi, in the first session we were discussed about how to get a title of the web and how to create a subsite inside a site collection using client object model, right? And in this session we are going to we are going to discuss how to create a list and <clears throat> how to add the items inside the list and how to update the items and how to delete the items inside the list. Okay, and now I am adding a button here and I'm giving a name to the button as create a list okay and go to properties and change the button name create list okay see so double click on this one and, and it will create an event handler for that and I have a code to create a list okay so I'm just copy pasting it so this is a code to create a list. Just copy it. Paste here and change the site URL to your site collection URL. Okay. And so I'm creating a list name called my list. Okay. And you can give the description uh, that is your wish and I am giving a new description and I am creating an announcement list here okay see here I am getting my site collection and I am getting my web and I am creating a list for that you should have to write a class list creation information and and the title of that list is my list the template of the list is announcement list okay and if you want you can create a custom list if you want you can create a contacts list also just change the template here and here this is a list I am creating list web list that I am adding a list list creation info I am creating here I am adding to the existing list I have a file list and now I am going to add a new list here the list name is my list and the description is new description and it is updating a list and I am executing the query here okay just check any errors are there just click build okay so build is succeeded and debug okay so this is we already discussed get details on how to create a subsite right I am creating a list but I am not displaying anything in the label just click create list and before that before clicking that just check it out okay and this is site contents okay here I have only one list here and I have so many reusable content site assets but we don't have my list right the site contents we don't have my list and I am clicking on create a list okay just press here and it will take a while okay sorry I think I just double clicked it okay, no problem continue okay that's it refresh see my list is created okay so this is announcement list and you you are able to see this symbol right so in this symbol it is showing that this is a new new list created and this symbol is showing that this is a announcement list and using client object model we created a list here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an item inside the list okay and for that go to form okay see I'm dropping a button here so we don't have columns here in the list right and open the list so it will take a while and meanwhile I'm dropping a button here and rename it to add announcement right so for that I'm giving add item this is a new button add item button go here we don't have anything here so double click on it it will generate an event handler and I have a code to add item okay create a new item Just paste here and I don't have a body here 
and we'll check it out we have a body or not no we don't have and I'm commenting it okay this is my list okay this is the announcement list my list this is my site URL and list item creation and we are creating an item inside the announcement list okay and that is new item we are updating the new item okay this is list item class and we are adding an item to the list and the execute query execute the above statements okay and again check it check it out build and we are given site correct site URL and correct list name only it will execute okay or otherwise it won't execute my list M. Okay, we'll check it out the list name is M capital L capital okay again this is M and this is L now the list name is correct save it and again build build the code so build is successful if we give a wrong list name you'll get a runtime error okay now debug it so the item is my new item right once I click this add item okay and go to list refresh it see my new item is came here in the list okay understood this is very easy to create a list and it is very easy to create an item inside the list okay and in the next session we will discuss how to update the item which we created how to delete the item so which is already there in the list okay so for more videos and more uh, articles just visit entirecodes.com and then you'll find a lot of articles regarding SharePoint and SharePoint client object model and server object model as well and that's it in this session thanks for visiting my video